Three, two, one, and hello everybody. We are live. So today we are going to be unboxing the MSI GE76 2022 model. Now the specifications can be found down in the description below. I'm quickly going to share the stream with my audience. And we're just going to take a look at the model. I don't think much has changed apart from the screen. It's a 1440p screen with 400 nits if I read the specification sheet correctly. No, let's find our good old stream. There we go. And I get a shareable link. Sharing it. Whoops. Fat fingered. Add everyone. Now. All right. So the MSI GE 76 2022 model. Let's just get started. Only two people watching. So thanks so much for watching. Let's get started. Sois, what's up? Now I got this machine for a good 2000 euros. Man, that is tight. That is the tightest box I've ever had. No pun intended. All right. So it's 2K, 240 Hertz. It's also in the description. What is up, by the way, Basil? That is one giant box, dude. All right. That is one, that is one ginormous box. MSI sure knows how to package their products. So, wait, what do you have here? Ah, great, just what we needed. Books, dragon books. So it cost me 2,100 euros, 2,100 euros. Let's, let's throw the, the books away. Let's take a look at the power brick. Nobody wants to see the power brick, but we're just gonna include it. Who cares about the power brick? So, cable. And a rather sizable power brick. Good morning. Good morning, eh? <laughs> it's evening here. But good morning to you, Herod. Welcome, buddy. So, a ginormous. How much wattage is it? Let's check it out. Maybe the camera can pick it up. Wait a second. Ugh. How much wattage is it? Let's see. It's a 280 watts power brick. Nice. So we're going to toss that one to the side. And here we have the laptop. By the way, guys, if you want to help the stream, just hit that like button. We don't need no donations or anything. Just hit the like button. Bro, I am from Canada. A figure, man. Let's pretend it's the desk is clean. Let's 
thoughts on RG Strix G15 RTX? Yeah, so it has a thermal issue and that's why it's down clocking the wattage, which is really annoying. So it's like, it's like a black paper. Oh no, wait, it's not a black paper. So nice and tidily secured, toss the paper away and here it comes. Nice. Left side. I read the specs are in the in the in the description. So this is the right side. Apostolo, what's up, man? I do remember you. That is awesome. That is nice and open, the bottom. Kind of digging it. So you can see the heat pipes over here, the fan over here, and also a fan on this side. Nice. The back side. This thing is really heavy. Holy cow. Let's clean the desk or pretend we clean the desk. Desk. Hey, good evening. That's a great laptop hardware wise. The only issue could be the stiff hinges, which is a common trait. Careful with the hinges. So I don't know, it opens rather smoothly. Okay. Mel, what's up, Matty? <laughs> do you want? Okay, Raider, let's take a look at the sticker. So we have Wi-Fi 6E, Cooler Boost 5, 99.9 .9 watt hour battery. What is that? Dual Wave Booster, Woofer, whatever. Thunderbolt 4. Well, actually, actually guys, my wife bought this one for me. She's like, you need a new laptop. You got to test this one <laughs> because I was excited for it. So first boot up and of course, no power. Let's install the power brick. The giant power brick was There is the cable. This laptop, this laptop performance is similar as a Legion 5i Pro 2000. Yes, it is going to be very similar. Though I'm curious about the cooling solution. How, how cool the CPU runs. I've seen some really impressive results. So we're just gonna boot it up, install some stuff and just Play a bit around with it, show you the software. Okay, let's go Anakin Skywalker here. All right, all right, all right. It's working. It's working. Oh, those MSI screens just look so clean. There is no backlight bleed whatsoever. That is crazy how good that is. That is quality. All right. Quickly going to get my HDMI cable. Gaming test on the way. I just opened the box, man. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I always do gaming test. That's what the channel is about, man. Martin, Gilles. 
What capture? I use the uh, Elgato 4K HD Mark II thingy, etc. So this is a 400 nit screen. I can tell it's much brighter than 300, 300 nits. So this one was 2,100 euros. It was actually priced down from 2,600, which I th think is way overpriced. These things are just solid. Yeah, that's an RGB strip. Let's see if we can change the color a bit. Wait, how does this work? That is Cooler Boost. Ooh, that's loud. Engineer Zone, what's up? Ido. Yeah, so my wife actually. Th thanks to my wife. <laughs> Only 10% capo? <laughs> what's up, dude? Okay. So. Let's get in that Wi-Fi. Ramesh, welcome. Doing fine, man. So I'm quickly gonna get my HDMI cable so I can actually show the screen. Let's see if that works. Go. Just let's see if we have a little screen. Yeah. So let's just make this one a little bigger. There we go. I'm gonna quickly get my mouse. The mouse, oh wait, it's the USB. All right. So what's up, everybody? Hi, I'm thinking about buying Asus RG Strix Advantage. What is your opinion about on, on it? So the I'm quickly going to hide this screen for a second. Uh, yeah. One second, guys. Details here. I have to get used to these keyboards again. So I'm not a big fan of the ROG Strix G15 Advantage Edition. There were a lot of problems with it. There we go. There were a lot of problems with it. Wi-Fi problems, performance problems, software problems, and so on and so forth. Not a fan. <laughs> Mini. <laughs> there we go. Let's get the camera. Right angle again. 
Hey, what do you think? Upgrading to 12th gen from a 10th gen is worth a shot because I still see them RTX only. No, I don't think it's that, that much worth it. I don't think you should uh, upgrade just for the CPU. Maybe for the GPU, but not for the CPU. That extra five to 10 percent. Yeah, Ellie. So it it was priced down. So it was twenty one hundred euros. Melm, awesome. Hi, can you make a bit louder, um, guys? I think I'm pretty loud, right? I'm watching my monitor here, and I don't think I'm that like that quiet. Maybe if I move my head around, I'll speak a bit more clearly in the mic. So we don't want no advertisement. What are we gonna do with these laptops? Hmm. I think we're going to use it for family. Okay. So hi. It's gaming. Gaming, gaming only. Blah, 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 blah. Looking at the lab specs makes me, makes my life sad. I'm still gaming for an Intel HD graphics card. <laughs> it's okay, learn now. We still love you, man. My new laptop was delivered recently, apparently got stolen from in front of my house. Is there a way it can be tracked? We gotta turn up the volume, okay, one second. So I can't make it more loud than this. My mouse is the super light, indeed. Kareem, that is, that is really bad, dude. I feel for you, man. Melm, how do you like your new Legion 7? Hard to kill, what's up? Let's see if we can change. No, it doesn't do that yet. I think it's the software. Hi, man. Am I late? I mean, the box is open. You have came for the grand finale. I have the 1290i model. Whoa, that is, yeah, those things get pretty, pretty warm. GPU. TGP, 150 watts. Kareem, that's normally in my country, if that happens, that's on them, that's on UPS. Okay. Let's open the Dragon Center and pretend we have Read this all. Yes, I have read this. Good story, by the way. System diagnostics. No. I got the G17 RTX as a Ryzen. Sure. Where is this? No, it's a that's that's pretty good. Galaxies. How are you dealing with the recent heat waves in Europe? Are you affected by them? Dude, I hate, I hate heat. <laughs> What's up, Ariane? Okay, let's see. Let's see. I mean, does it work now? Hello? Yeah. But that's not the one I want. I wanted this one. Yes. Nice. So this is a 17 inch, 17 by three inch screen. Okay, let's see, is the brightness set to max? It is. I think a downside to these MSI laptops is like their fan is like always on. No matter what, pretty much what you do and what kind of mode, it's like, I can always hear the fan. There's even HDR on here and a webcam. Oh, let's, let's make this awkward. Oh, 
Hello, I can I can actually see you. Yeah, so I've got a beard now. <laughs> So, I don't know. I don't like webcams. But, so we have the mug switch. Yo, you can just defend Dragon Center the way you want it. No, there's actually an option now. If I am not mistaken, let's see if we can find a general settings. So, we want to use the discrete. We're first going to do a reboot. These screens are super, super responsive. Christian, is this your new personal gaming laptop? Um, I mean, I can't speak too loud, but uh, if the Legion 5i hears me, it's going to hit me in the head. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure yet. It depends on the performance, how much you like it. I do generally love MSI and uh, Ace or, um, Lenovo laptops, just because the performance is just, just always good. So the mouse, yeah, the mouse is a uh, super light. By the way, if you ever buy a gaming mouse, don't buy a white one. It'll get greasy, like you have to clean it. Nice camera focus, by the way. Jeez. So this is the super light. I need you, I, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Once again, if you guys want to help the channel out, oh my God, it's doing this again. Get out of here. Yes. So let's see if there's any bloatware on here. Normally MSI does that pretty well. Oh, wait a minute. We have gaming. That looks so good. I don't think you can see it on the screen, right? No, you can see it on the stream. This gaming mode is really, looks really good. So I generally hate all these buttons. I don't. Easy way to shut them down. Search, I like search. Search can stay. We'll keep that one, we'll remove that one. Ooh. Piss off, dude. Google, oh, these keyboards, they're lovely to type on. That is not a joke. Oh, this is this is my pin. That's not my actual password. I have a pretty long password. I just started watching. Have you checked if there is a BIOS update? You know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna do that. Oh wait, I think I've downloaded it twice now. Quickly installing Chrome, and we're just gonna check. Is there a life update? <laughs> I once done a poll. How many people? Uh, let's see. Steel series. Let's see if there's any updates. Ah, Chrome, my friend. I always. You know, you know what, what, what Edge is good for? It's installing Chrome. <laughs> what happens if you unplug your laptop in the middle of a BIOS update? Depends. If the battery is still working, it'll probably continue and start beeping like, use the force, Anakin. Okay.
I honestly, I, I like how MSI does this software. Yeah, sorry for you people that love Chrome. I mean, uh, Edge. Dima Dibang. <laughs> That's an awesome name. What is your name? Dima Dibang. Mm. Shall we find out? No, we shall not find out. Well, maybe if you have, you know, if you want to do it, please go ahead. Irai Yildiz. Irai Yildiz. Nice. Ellie Ferris. Capo YouTube. Will you underfold it? That, that will definitely be cool. That would lower the temperature. So that's definitely cool. So while it's doing its thing, let's see if we can already start downloading some games. Oh, whoa, no. Okay. You know what? Let's just download Steam. These things are quick AF, man. No, this is not the OLED model. I think that's like um, GE67 or something like that. That is not this. I, 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 I'm very sensitive to the brightness of the screen. And uh, this, the, I think the 360 Hertz model has a 300 nits brightness and the 1440p from my spec sheet, it has 400 nits of brightness. Can you tell me how is the Acer Nitro with Ryzen? So you don't know, you do, you don't, you do not want to put a R9 in a Acer Nitro. <laughs> That's equal to house fire. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so. Look away, guys. Damn it. Wait, let me quickly install my setup a little bit differently so I can place the laptop in front of me. This is a little bit annoying. Quickly reorganizing my desk. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I think I just put a dent in my 4K screen. Oh, shizzle. Oh, wait, no, that's, are we good? Yeah, we were good. Quickly reorganizing my desk. So you can look at my beautiful face. So to those who have never seen me, hi, the name's Tyriel. I'm three and a half years old. Who are you? Okay. Throw, no. Laptop. Wait, how do we do this? Jesus. Who said gaming was easy? Dude. Okay. I think we made it. Yeah. Hi, Hi all. <laughs> uh, wait. 
I quickly have to make everything look nice. Pretend I have a clean room. All right. Ah, there we go. Just filled in my password wrongly. Now I have to get my Steam code. Steam. Okay. Oh, I think that was the drivers. So let's just, oh, wait, wait. Let's see how quickly that Wi-Fi 6E downloads. Oh, I will be playing a lot of games. Don't you worry, guys. I will be playing all of the games, or at least as many games as I have. I don't like the angle of this camera. That doesn't look healthy. Hello. I'm guessing this is a little bit better. Turn it forward. Doing live unboxing. Ooh, never easy. There we go. Okay. So let's see. I can download with a max of 75 gigabyte MBs per second. Have you considered streaming games from your gaming laptop or do you do that already? So I always stream with a second PC. So you get unbiased performance. Have you considered streaming games for oh, wait, you have just read that? No, I don't like Twitch. I'm a YouTuber. Twitch is um Phantom! What's up, buddy? So Twitch is a very I think it's capped. I'm not sure. I think I capped it. No, it's not capped. I was probably downloading something else then. So. I hate OneDrive. Absolutely. I think it's just garbage. So this is what I generally do when I start up any laptop, I just disable stuff. So, it's currently downloading Cyberpunk. So normally my internet speed is a lot quicker. I just, I just hate doing this. Show temperature. I always show temperatures. Do not worry. Ah, there we go. Digimon, I'm glad you to recommend me this. I'm glad you're here, man. So. Let's take a quick look at the specifications. 
Do you have a cooling pad? I have six cooling pads. I saw throttle while streaming in Steam. Maybe that's the case. Oh, wait, we also have to accept. It's like double security for God knows what reason. There we go. So you for for um, if you use uh, HV info or HW info, um, you don't need that with all the laptops. Mostly with Ryzen, um, chose Sony. What's up, dude? Is the i5 1200F CPU good in the desktop? It is. Yoda, mm, hello. Come, you have. Hey, mate, do you play World of Warcraft? Wanted to see how much FPS you get. You know, June, I'm going to do that, right? Special for you, man. <laughs> I do like World of Warcraft. Lenovo told me Legion 5i 1236 arrived December because of chip shortage. Isn't that a bitch? The chip shortage. Shortages. Terrial brother, my wrist got burned because of my laptop. Do not bake eggs on your laptop, Sony. A bad idea. Is the Asus Strix Ooh! oh sorry. Just <laughs> I'm not a fan of the Asus Strix lineup. I think they have terrible performance. And I also think the thermals are bad. And I also think the screens are bad. And I also know a lot of people that have had a lot of problems with them, including myself. So I cannot recommend. I mean, I'm glad this is downloaded, but hello. Do you think the 3070 Ti is worth it over 3080? Yes. I would even argue that um, a 3070 is a better pick, honestly. Kappa High would be awesome if you record with Shadow Play with live stream and show how much it affects gameplay just for fun. Oh, I can do that. Just make a short video. Uh, if you record gameplay, like on the laptop using uh, like uh, using this, the uh, GeForce Experience or Shadow Play, you, you generally lose like two FPS in games, depending how much FPS a game gets, of course, but it's, generally, it's, it's, it's very minimal. If you were to run Chrome in the background, that would affect the system more, probably. That would be a good video, right? I think that, what do you guys think? Would that be a good video idea? Like test a laptop? with background processes a one without and see what the performance is like hmm, yoda thank you for subscribing by the way everybody thanks for liking and subscribing that is awesome legion 5 is not available now in bulgaria it's oh that is that is a pretty good deal that is a good deal is it 32 gigabytes yeah, exactly. Like Spotify or Discord or Chrome. Material I want desktop. Never because laptops tend to get really hot. It makes a short life. Michael, I would not worry about the short lifespan of a laptop. They're totally made to be like this. What do you guys think? Is that a, is that a good video idea? Like test a laptop, like with background processes and one without, because I don't know how, how about you guys, but I generally shut down background processes just to increase the performance, to show the real performance. I shut everything down that's unnecessary. Oh, that's a good question. How much RAM is in there? It's actually in the description, but let me just show you. So we're up, currently up, up, updating the drivers and there's 31.77 or 32 gigabytes of RAM. Okay. 
unlimited power. Okay, so this is all. Let's see about the feature. user scenario. So we want extreme performance. What about user? Ah, looky, looky. Okay, does it show temperature? No, that's that's dodgy. I mean, th that's fun and all these, but why not show like the actual temperature? So you have a, wait, let's, I think my face is too big for the screen, for the stream. Let me make myself a little bit smaller, eh? There we go. So you actually can make a manual banker now. That wasn't possible before. What about extreme performance? You can actually overclock here. Put this on 100. Offset. Nice. Disable cooler boost. No, we're good like that. So the fans are spinning. Yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching all. If you want to help the channel out, because I buy these laptops with my own money, I am not being sponsored, sadly. Take no MSI. Hello, promoting your products here. <laughs> so if you want to help me out, just hit that like button. No need for donations or anything. Just hit the like button. Gaming general settings. So we have selected the discrete graphics. There is a mug switch in here. Can you test Red Dead Redemption? Absolutely, my friend. So we're gonna turn the webcam off. Ah, that's cheating. What is the worst thing you have seen with these GE 76 radios? The only bad thing I can think of is maybe if you put it in like Cooler Boost, the, the fan sound. Apart from that, not much. So you, you do not wanna be installing all of this stuff, gaming mode. You, you don't need that. Wait, I think there's also a thing for the colors. How do we find that? Ah, Mystic Light. So this is DDR5, yeah. Quickly gonna get my USB stick and install Afterburner. Oh, those USB ports are tight, man. Okay, let's get some MSI afterburner. I think they should have included that in here. I mean, it's MSI their own. Your install throttle stop, not right now. I'm quickly going to tie the first rise if you know what I mean. I have no idea what you mean, Capo. Do you care to elaborate, please? <clears throat> you dirt back. Right. Is it any good? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, let me just show you. Um, control panel. This is actually how you check your laptops, TGP. Exactly like this. You go to NVIDIA control panel, help, system, information, and maximum graphics power over here. 
can see is 150 watts. The, both the 30, um, 70 and 3070 Ti have 150 watts. 2022 models. The 2021 model, RTX 3070 has 140 watts. Old F4 for ultimate performance. Oh, I almost, I almost fell for that one. Ha ha ha! You didn't know the trick. Now you do. You're here to learn, hmm? Young Padawan. Yeah, I think the Nitro 3080 has only 100 watts. So this 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 GPU is going to perform better than that 3080. Do you think that we will have DDR in laptops eventually? Yeah. I do not want to show the read you. Okay. So now we're going to use my USB stick and steal the profiles. Okay. So this is how you transfer MSI profiles. You install it, start it up. Now it's made a new profile. You go to profiles here. You remove this, you paste the new ones. You do that to all. Ta-da! That's easy. <laughs> Saves a lot of work. Okay. We don't want no. Okay, so why? Why? Why are you doing this? Ah, battery boost. Urgh. Let's see, have they enabled NVIDIA highlights? Of course they have. Quickly. That's good. Okay. This is installing. You must uninstall. There's no pre-installed antivirus in here. Oh, wait, there is. <gasps> that little bastards. Bashar, you are so right. So look. I'm having unprotected S with my laptop. I'm unstilling the antivirus Norton. So this is what I always do. I uninstall pre-installed software. Get the hell out of here. MSI Blowware, yeah, so all the laptop companies do this. I mean, one installs McAfee, one installs Norton, one installs Crazy Panda. I, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I just use Windows Defender. It's fine. And it doesn't affect your performance that much. <laughs> Norton is actually, I think it's making money by uh, enabling a mining service. Uh, with Asus stuff laptops, Raul. Yes, well, partially. So we're gonna restart. Uh, the Asus stuff, my friend, uh, Engineer Zone, he's, he tests his uh, Asus stuff laptop, the 2022 model. It's actually really good. Though I am not a big fan myself of Asus laptops. I have always had problems with Asus laptops. And also the customer. I'm actually thinking about making a a very so one of my subscribers, he contacted me, contacted me like Turiel. My Asus Strix G15 just broke down. Not the first guy, but this guy had some real trouble with it. So what happened is he sent it back to Asus, like, yo, guys, I gotta repair. There was a lot of trouble with Asus taking back their own laptop for repairs. So, okay. He sent it back. They replaced his motherboard because they said it was a motherboard problem. Clearly it was a GPU problem, but you have to replace the entire motherboard in that case because it's baked in. So they replaced his laptop. 
with a second-hand motherboard. So they gave him the laptop back. More problems. Nice. More problems. So you sent your laptop for repairs because it's not working correctly. And then they replace it with a second-hand motherboard and you get more problems. And the story continues. Long story short, they do not want to help him repair his laptop anymore because they said they repaired it. They said it was functioning and they just screwed him over. So that is my, also my experience with Asus. I love Asus or I loved Asus, but I think the love is slowly dying. Yeah, so that is the problem. Asus are masters of marketing. We all fell for it. We all have seen those Asus laptops with those shining lights and great specs and the highest hertz and whatever, but they're cheating you meanwhile. All four Asus laptops that I've tested had either very bad screen tearing, performance issues, thermal issues, or hardware issues where the, the, the GPUs just don't reach uh, maximum performance. Okay, let's go to the display. I would not recommend buying a Asus laptop at this point in time until they fix their shit. I think the top tier laptops currently in the market are either MSI or Lenovo. And Alienware and Razer, of course. I think Legion, or depending on the price, but Legion and MSI are very competitive together in price. Razer, way too overpriced. Uh, and also Alienware, way too overpriced. If you have a big pocket, go for it. But Razer and Alienware are overpriced. Simple as that. Severy, go to MSI. Yes, sir. What do you want me to do now, sir? Yeah, they're crazy overpriced. So let's see Mystic Lights. Somebody told me to go to. Mystic Lights have come to save our lives. But that's Mystic Nights. Mystic nights are here now. Long ago in ancient times, in the land of Tirnana, little people sang their rhymes. Oh, that is an old. <laughs> How do I still remember that? Fuck. Which is the best laptop brand, in your opinion? Honestly, I think L L uh, Lenovo checks all the right boxes. And the same for MSI. This is slow, it can go much faster, but I think it's because my kids are still watching something in the living room. Yeah, so Raul, guys, guys, honestly, please, please save a month longer and spend the extra 100 on either a Lenovo or MSI or Razer or Alienware laptop. Lenovo and MSI, I think, are the best. I mean, Asus, they also have like better products, like the higher tier, but they are so overpriced, it's not even funny. So this is working. Let me quickly check. Oh, wait, over here. Here we can change the light. Mm. So where can we find my keyboard? Hello. I mean, it's fun and all that you install this stuff, but just give me my freaking keyboard. Limited access? Bullshit. I have to install it. You know, I hate that stuff. Why do we need accounts for everything? It has a freaking 
steel series keyboard in there just make it work god okay let's see if the msi is working correctly is my sound good by the way or is it too loud it's almost done so that looks good we just have to change the name to 70 c i apply Oh, I think I have an old profile. One second. Is there a new one? Yes, that's it. Rivia. So Cyberpunk is almost installed. We're just going to play that for a second. We're going to be installing more games. Okay. Let's see, do we have everything under control? Oh, wait, it's already set to a 3070 Ti. That's awesome. Nice. <laughs> okay. Legion bad Wi-Fi. That depends on which... Okay, whoops, personalize themes. I'd like to have the dark theme, please. Where's the... I always mess these buttons up. Background. There we go. That's better. That's how I like it. Guys, what do you guys think? Dark modes or light mode? What 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 side are you on? Are you the dark mode user or the light mode user? Digimon dark. So, if you're if you're in the market for buying a laptop, I mean, not all models have a certain amount of um of uh, gpu choices but i think the 3070s and the 3060s are still the best price performance light mode giga chat god you god knows i am the dark lord <laughs> <laughs> Unlimited. Okay, that just happened. Live mode is for non-tech cringe people. <laughs> Kirill, do you play competitive? I mean, I it, it looks like I am that good. I know when I do benchmarks, everybody's like, "Wow, you're so good." But no, I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> no, dude. I have, I only played a game for benchmarking purposes, but it looks a bit like, what was that? Guys, who was that? Do you think Jar Jar is secretly, definitely Jar Jar is, is a dark side user. <laughs> Stick a fork in your outlet for unlimited <laughs> power. Wait, that's a good. I own this model. Joe Kim, you definitely own brother. So it's almost done. We have waited so long. Yeah. Dude, we will never get full efficiency from the system because of Windows. The computer you are using will be included. 
and obsolete in six months turquoise blue no <laughs> no no it might not never get full efficiency like a desktop but it's not going to be obsolete in six months that is not true There are going to be better systems in six months, yes, but it's not going to be obsolete. Definitely not. My Amazon still has some light problems. Your keys are not RGB themes. Do you know any solution? Turquoise blue. Yes, wait and see. Well, I've been doing this for two years and the models back from two years are still valid. Pretty good. Not obsolete. So I have waited and I've already seen it. Dima, if you get a level from it's but it's not expensive. I think 1.4k dollars. Sell me your old PC? Never. Scorpion, do you have a MSI Titan GT77? <gasps> Are you serious? Are you kidding? I will be playing Stalker, so see you. Spicy, see you later, buddy. My friend's device with tangent processes were not even included in MS Center Pro. I mean, that's fine. Why do you need that? If old software is still working, you don't need any new software. It's not always compatible. Compa compatible, yeah. We need the 4000 series ASAP. We indeed we do. So five more percent, guys. Yeah, I, I, you know, it's already, it's already like the start. You get this, like this background. Oh, tell me that looks sweet. It's like, it's like a freaking wormhole. Will you test Battlefield 2042? Yes. Even though a lot of people do not like it, I will be including it in benchmarks. Can we install the drivers now, please? Thank you. Using MSI Dragon Set, uh, we feel like we are driving a Ferrari toy. I mean, why? It works. It might look different, or the new ones have different skins, but the functions are pretty much the same. So, I mean, I don't understand you, but it's not. It's not like then you are obsolete. That's not how it works. Yes, you get new skins. Of course, that is marketing. That is marketing, my friend. Turquoise blue. That is marketing. <laughs> 10th gen laptops are pretty much on par with 12th gen laptops for gaming. Is the laptop warm already? Yeah, I'm, I'm baking some eggs and, you know. Driver download failed. You know, I think we got to do some more Windows updates. I'm pretty sure we got to do some more Windows updates. A lot of them probably. Hello, Windows updates, my old friend. <laughs> uh, uh, no, no. <laughs> we'll just start this game. I don't care if it has to do Windows updates. It's all. It's always like when you get a new laptop, it's like, here's a list of updates you need to do. But sir, there's no end. I know there is no end. It's almost done. Let's see how much power goes through this. So like a good boy, I'm going to elevate my laptop. Ooh, that daddy. Do you think so? Well, I better not show. Watch out so you don't download the latest BIOS. Has been some machines breaking on the other. I mean, if it's brick, I'm just sending it back. <laughs> we have some really good policies here in the Netherlands. If the machine doesn't work, we have a, the, 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 yeah, it's pretty low. So if this laptop shouldn't work, 
I have like 30 days to return it. I don't have to say anything. I can just return it. I mean, yeah, we got it. Don't, don't, don't start spamming, please. I don't want to time you out. Okay. Okay, let's see. Cyberpunk. 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 Does whatever a cyberpunk does. Can it swing? Cyberpunk. I think I've the, the the game Cyberpunk is just became a GPU demanding test for your laptop or desktop. All right. Let's see. Is the sound off a little bit? So you guys don't hear the sound yet because I don't have my software installed. My room temperature is 22 degrees Celsius. You can see it in the house over there. 22 degrees Celsius. Give me a second. Quickly making the benchmark a little bit better. Oh, that is, yeah, that is a little bit too much for my liking. I think I chose the wrong. That's better. Can you open the frame time graphic too, please? So this is the frame time over here next to the FPS. That works as well like a charm that CPU is definitely drawing a lot of power And it's still managing the temperatures. So let's go through the settings. Oh, is even ray tracing? Are you kidding me? Let's turn it off. Let's turn this off. Let's just go native. So this is native. Is it 1440p? You can check. Yes, it's 1440p. I'm not using a cooling pad and I'm not using a aggressive fan curve. That CPU is definitely using more wattage than Lenovo. Those are great temperatures. No, that, those are not high temperatures for that one's wattage. I think it was just loading something. Wow. Are you kidding me?
Yeah, yeah, probably going to cap it. So difference I see here happening compared to the Lenovo Legion 5i Pro is the GPU is like, or the CPU is like using like 10%, 10 watts more and the clocks are higher. And also the GPU is doing pretty good. And the temperatures are extremely good. Responsiveness is really good. Let's let's turn on ray tray or DLSS. What what is too damn hot? <laughs> the temperatures? Are you kidding? You think this is too hot? That is not too hot. Yeah, it was, I think it was probably doing shaders or something. It is really good. You guys know that watch my channel more often. This, these are really good temperatures for a 12700H. Okay, Let, let's, let's turn on Cooler Boost, see what that does. So don't hope you hear it. Is it, is the FPS kept? V-Sync, that's off. So it's 2K. 1440p. This is with Cooler Boost. Keyboard stays really cool. Wow. Wait, I make keep making ghost touches on the keypad. That's better. So this is with Cooler Boost. Yeah, it's stuttering a little bit. I think that's due to the drivers not being updated. We still got to update the system. It's still doing a lot in the background. Let's see how far the updates are. So that's with Cooler Boost, turning Cooler Boost off now. So quickly going to update and see if the performance gets better. Temperatures. I was an extreme performance, but I wasn't even overclocked. That performance was super duper good. Undervolt. Yeah, so I'm gonna install all of this first quickly, and then we're gonna play it again. Those temperatures were absolutely ridiculously good. Yeah, I'm I'm going to go through all the modes, guys. Don't don't worry. Dude, can you adjust the FPS as text and graphics from MSI after turn settings? You can change all of it. But I'm going to keep it like this. If you wish me to change it, I'm I always use my benchmarks like this, so I'm not going to change that. I can't ever use extreme and max but I don't want to overspend won't ever use in max yeah uh vit i will definitely be changing that for you i'm just gonna quickly reinstall see if we can download the drivers then do another quick reinstall and then we're good to go so my wife got me this laptop today she was doing all mysterious and uh, she told me, uh, oh, I have something for you, but you can't know it yet. So I'm like, well, what do you have? <laughs> and I got home, I brought my son to swimming and got back. 
And there it was, the MSI GE76. Do, 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 do. <laughs> wife, got, yeah. Yeah, I have a really cool wife. I watch your whole video series on the Legion 5 Pro 3070. It was the it was actually the Legion 5i Pro, but that's just details. <laughs> the I stands for Intel. Nice. Seriously considering that I still am. That it's definitely worth it, Vit. I can also already tell that this machine is also going to be worth it if you can get this for a really good price. Though the screens on the uh, Legions they do look better. They're a little bit brighter. But from a um I mean, if you if you use your laptop for like work or school, you might want that 60 by 10 aspect ratio. That tall screen is like really nice for text or reading pages. Yeah, Vid, you do, you do want that Legion then because as a programmer, that tall screen, that helps. You get more info in one go, especially as a programmer. I think you're going to love that. I've seen that new one with OLED, yeah. Can we download it now? Hmm? First, making sure the laptop is fully up to date. Are you ready? Can you just Jedi fall on order? So no, we still have to do the last Windows update. That one. I do not have Jedi fall on order, so I can't really play it. Can you say you know the difference between using G-Sync laptops with non-G-Sync high refresh laptops? Um, if I'm really nitpicking, yes, I do. I do see a difference. I th I do think. Um, G-Sync looks looks better. But then again, I, 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 I can also understand if people say they don't see it. Um, but I look at this stuff like every day. Um, so you be somehow become sensitive to noticing the difference between like G-Sync and non-G-Sync. A Windows that does it from a big a friend of mine had his computer trashed. <laughs> nice. Once again, I could just put it in a box and send it back. Like, good luck with it. It's not working. <laughs> Ratchet. My Asus RG Strix have screen flickering. Guys, you see? You see what, what, why my rant is legit about Asus um, RG Strix laptops? You see? Sorry, Ratchet. Welcome. Um, yeah, that is a common problem. And I'm sorry, I cannot help you. And most likely, ACES won't help you as well because they know this is a problem and they are unable to fix it. So, VIT, uh, both Legion and MSI laptops, they, they are pretty cool you know just go full screen I gotta do some updates anyway a 
I would love to test machines like that. Yeah, so uh, I mean, it's not like I get these machines. I buy them with my own money. It's quite it's quite costly. So that's why I always ask for people, you know, to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. That 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 always helps me out. Um, because you can understand if you, I, I keep buying these laptops to test them, to build a YouTube channel. And eventually I hope that uh, the companies will send them. I don't care about MSI, by the way, because I think they're a box full of snakes. So, but um, I hope, uh, I hope they'll catch, catch on to this. And because, you know, you see a lot of channels, they show you like 10 seconds of gameplay and they show you graphs and while that is fun i like to do it like live or make a video that shows actual gameplay and the actual system my lucha 5 pro is hybrid mode on the game if you use lucha why don't you i do like msi hurricane I was talking about Asus. I think Asus is uh, on a path of self-destruction with their quality control. No, a lot of people show graphs and, you know, I started this channel like, I've seen, I've, I was I was so done with I like to see performance on systems and I was so done with um, looking at graphs like what does this mean well, I, I, it's nice that I show a temperature but what is the sound like what is the whole experience like when you from opening the box to um, like playing the game what are the temperatures like if I play for an hour or if I play in this or this setting or you get all these graphs and I that's easy data I understand that but it's this is much more time costly but it 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 gives the best impression in my humble opinion Asus advertises all their laptops are 500 decibels <laughs> Are you going to review the MSI type? Wait, I'm gonna, one second, uh, turquoise blue. I'm going to check on my money tree. Be right back. Oh, hasn't grown yet, so. <laughs> no, just kidding, man. That's way too expensive. That's as far out of my budget. <laughs> yes, DLSS is great. I think DLSS is great. <laughs> Ace of Predator 21X. <laughs> Money. God, I hate doing all these updates, especially in the live stream. Asus scarcity problem, screen flickering, overheating, power break, Wi Fi order stopping, whole week, no package key. Seems logical. What about screen bleed? That's all the problems I have. Not using Max TGP. Oh, it's doing a, woo, it's doing a uh, BIOS update now. Warning, system firmware is being updated. Please wait, do not turn off the power. <laughs> okay, it didn't do that. It's only 9,000. <laughs> they wanted one of my kidneys for the GT77. <laughs> so what is your favorite laptop brand, guys? What is like the brand that tickles your bell? What do you think about Acer Nitro 5 Tiger? Man, I, I am not a fan of Nitro. I think they make budget-friendly products, but I don't think the products are particularly good. Sagar, what's up, man? Guys, what is what is your brand? What is like the brand you stand behind the most? I shouldn't have pressed the power button. Wow. 
Oh, this this might actually turn into a stream. Guy breaks MSI laptop by in insta by installing BIOS update. It's not about brand. I know it's not about brand, but it's just I'm just curious to see. I I know, yo, you're right. But what is like what is like the brand that has the best ring to you? HP, MSI, Mr. Apple, get out of here. <laughs> Legion. I really like Acer, they got a good bridge. I also bought the Lenovo Legion, love it so far. Only one wants to. I have a question, do MSI have good quality check? I have never had, from all my laptops, MSI is the most flawless one. From beginning to end, MSI never gave me any problems. Also, back in the days, MSI makes really good laptops, period. MSI seem to have a strong build quality. Second, MSI have shoddy build. No, they don't. They have really good build quality. One second, I have to go to my daughter for a second. So I'm back. Let's see if it works now. Hinge issues. <laughs> I think that's all in your head, man. I don't think that's really a problem. Every, every system has maybe some problems, but it's not like, I have never had any problems with the hinges, so. I do think most hinges on most systems are pretty good. I <laughs> wonder why nobody named, I don't, nobody has that fat of wallet. But I, I, I think, yo, that, that kind of depends on how, how often and how heavy you use the system. I mean, I don't use the systems all day, every day. For school, open, close, open, close. That's not what I do. Intel, NVIDIA laptops, have you always had a serious problem? They are not solving it for us to get a Mac switch enabled device. Hmm. Is there any way to stop screen flickering? It keeps increasing. Ratchet? No. Sorry, man.
keeps doing updates. Guys, my daughter is being a little brat. I'm going to cut the live stream short and might come back later or just start making some videos, but I have to be a father now. And the updates are taking forever. I mean, if, if your laptop is two years old, you're still within warranty if your hinges are broken. So no problem there. Is YouTube your main job? God, I wish it was. No. My main job is uh, I take care of uh, handicapped people with autism or mental disability. So, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I got, sorry guys, I'm gonna have to be a father. My daughter is being a little brat. She's uh, making life miserable for my wife. So I have to be a, I have to be a good father. So thanks guys for watching, for all your comments, even though we sometimes agree or disagree. I always like these, these, these chats and the stream. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you all. Do know that. Even though we might not always agree, that's fine. Yeah, indeed. Comfy people as well. So, guys, <laughs> thanks for watching. If you haven't liked or subscribed, well, you know what to do. I'll catch you next one. Bye. I have to look over the laptop to see the end screen button.